You've caught Carrie in the cockpit of a C-47 World War II relic aircraft with one of the most experienced C-47 pilots in the world, Jim Terry, who has a fascination with vintage warbirds. How did this fascination begin? Well, it began a lot of years ago. My uncle was a World War II pilot and uh, he flew B-25s. And I grew up with him. He was a plastic surgeon in Columbus, Ohio. And I spent my summers with him. And he taught me how to fly when I was 12. And his stories were just amazing. How any of them survived. And uh, I just heard, I heard them over and over again. And uh, it just, it's more of an affliction than a vocation. It's, Absolutely. And I'm sure to be it in these types of relic aircrafts where you can imagine I mean, as we were taking off today, you think about what soldiers must have felt like as they were taking across overseas, preparing for battle, and knowing that their lives were in danger. It's a really powerful experience. Um, this flight, so this one operated um, type of plane in World War II, Vietnam, and Korea. There was um, a Vietnam veteran on board today who I spoke with a little bit had some very powerful stories about how the last time he was on a plane like this he was coming home from his third tour and it was neat to hear him talk about stories that he said he probably wouldn't have shared otherwise but this ride inspired it and I'm sure that you have heard some incredible stories along the way we do get those uh, we had a gentleman in a wheelchair and his son brought him out and uh, he took a ride with his son and he kept trying to talk to us and, and of course we listened and very hard to understand and uh, he'd obviously had a stroke and as his son wheeled him away he came running back and he said I can't thank you enough dad hasn't talked in 10 years and he heard the airplane fly over and he started calling out you know C-47, C-47, C-47 and they had to come to the airport and uh, we got a letter about uh, a month later that he had just in time. Just in time. And this, uh, they, Jim operates Greatest Generation Aircrafts, which is based in Fort Worth, Texas, but they fly planes throughout the country. So right now we're in Colorado. They are flying through Colorado through the beginning of October, so you can definitely catch a flight. And Greatest Generation Aircrafts is all volunteer based. 100% of the proceeds go back to the planes, making sure that they're in condition and fuel and all of that. Um, what is um, one of the most powerful parts of your mission that you believe in? Well, clearly, honoring the men that flew these airplanes all those years ago is the motivation for us doing this. Uh, it, it gets a little bigger than that, uh, keeping history alive, having people remember what went on all those years ago, bringing that to the forefront, bringing that to the dinner conversation. The only way history won't repeat itself is if people don't forget history. And what a powerful way to bring this to life and make, you know, let people relive it in certain ways, um, come up with those stories again and for people to experience. I think it's really powerful because while someone like myself might not have experienced a war, someone in your family has, so you can relive a part of history that they did as well. So to take advantage of this opportunity, make sure you check out Generation, Greatest Generation Aircraft. They are flying again through Colorado through the beginning of October. You do not want to miss this. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Karen. All right.